Hey, welcome to question four. Remember to pause the video so that you can give yourself the chance to try. Remember, if you don't try, then you're forfeiting the opportunity to grow. So with that said, please pause the video and give it a shot. Here we go. Which of the following is the product of 9.83 times 10 to the power of 19 and 23? The key word here is product. So we're going to go ahead and multiply here. So we're going to multiply 9.83 times 10 to the 19 and 23. So similar to problem number three, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and multiply the 23 and 9.83 first. And then we're going to mess with the decimals to manipulate this if we need to. So if you didn't quite catch along, just watch and learn. So first, I'm going to move that 23 to the front since we're multiplying again. 1 times 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2 times 1. We can move things around. So with that said, we have 23 multiplied by 9.83 multiplied by 10 to the power of 19. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and multiply. I'll grab my calculator and I'll say, hey, look, 23 times 9.83. All right. And that's going to give me 226.09. When you look at your answer choices, they're all in three digits, three digits, three digits, three digits. So with that said, I will go ahead and just, eh, I'll forget about the 0.09. I'll forget about that. But let's go ahead and bring down that 10 to the power of 19. So that's going to be multiplied by 10 to the power of 19. So from here, this is where the tricky part comes, because we want to make sure that we write this in scientific notation with one digit in the ones place and then the decimals. So with that said, well, I'm going to need to turn that into 2.26. So here's how we're going to do it, though. Let's go ahead and use a different color now. Uh, let's use blue. And I'll erase it and rewrite it. So 2.26. So I need this right here to still be the same as 226. Well, how would I turn 2.26 back into 226? If I multiply by 10, I move the decimal place over once. If I multiply by 10 again, I move the decimal place over again. So what that means is I'm multiplying by 10 twice, or 10 to the power of 2. So these are the same in blue. The red, the 10 to the power of 19, will drop down. But the blue, the 226 and 2.26 times 10 squared, they are the same. Grab your calculator. Perform that right there you'll see that that is the same as 226. I'm just writing it in a different form so that I can write this in scientific notation because that is the goal of the problem. So now that we're there, well, the last step for us to take is to realize that, hey, we're going to have two powers of 10. And remember, when you're multiplying powers that have the same base, in this case 10, you add the exponents. So that's going to give us 2.26 multiplied by 10 to the power of 21. And there we go. Our answer will be C. I hope this helps, everybody.